It's been nearly a decade since Facebook CEO Sheryl Sandberg gave a TED Talk on why the world has too few female leaders. We're all busy. Everyone's busy. A woman's busy. And she starts thinking about having a child. And from the moment she starts thinking about having a child, she starts leaning back. And a few years later, Sandberg followed up her talk with a book urging working mothers to lean in to their careers. Since then, the tech exec has gotten a steady stream of backlash from women who think that they're not the problem. Societal expectations are. Women like Sarah Friedberg, a working mother of three from Needham, who recently took her frustrations to Facebook, and a 1,054-word post that's been liked more than 70,000 times. Well, here are 72 of those words that she wrote. Society to working moms, go back to work six to eight weeks after having the baby. Also breastfeed for at least a year. Also lose that baby fat and get back in shape. Maintain a clean, Pinterest-worthy house. Maintain the schedule for the entire family. Date your spouse. Make sure to have friends. Self-care, though, and enjoy your life, she adds. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to lean out. Sarah Buckley Freeberg, who's also a microbiology manager for a large medical device company, she just recently joined me. Hey, Sarah, congratulations. Hey, thanks so much. By the way, so you're coming here and you're saying to yourself, and I also have to do a TV show in addition all that. I know that's what you're thinking. <laughs> so I am a man, you probably have noticed. I, I was exhausted having read <laughs> your Facebook thing. What was the, I mean, really was, what was the, was there a tipping point? Was there one thing that caused you to say, I got to sit at my computer and write this thing? I mean, that's a great question. It was not planned. Um, most days we keep everything sort of juggling in the air decently well. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, there's a couple things throughout the day, you know, you're exhausted. Um, you know, one of your kids is really upset about the kind of spaghetti you made. And I just needed to vent somewhere. Um, so was it the spaghetti? That it actually was the spaghetti. No, it was not. It, it was. We made the wrong kind of pasta. For, for what? You have three kids, right? Yes, All the young. middle one. I don't know. Uh, Three-year-olds have a mind of their own. So was it against the wall or just a little <laughs> tantrum kind of it experience? It was the wrong shape spaghetti, and it was a 45-minute, um, like, inconsolable <laughs> offense to his. So I know I shouldn't you know. laugh. So no, what kind of the <laughs> feedback I've seen with, an, with a very occasional uh, then don't have kids it's been incredibly positive and supportive, yeah? It's amazing. Um, the vast majority from both men and women has been incredibly positive. When you sat down here, you told me I'm a huge introvert. So how <laughs> weird is this whole... I mean, you've done international news stuff, not just local stuff. You've been all over the planet, Everywhere. And I mean, that wasn't the intent when I wrote that post. And it's the most surreal thing in my life. So has it been cathartic? Has this helped you? I mean, I know it doesn't solve your problems. But having so many women and men, as you say, say, get it. I mm -hmm. empathize. Does that help or does it It not? does. I think it's a conversation that people don't talk about enough um, that, hey, it's hard. Even if you love the choices you've made in your life, there's days that are hard um, and not everyone gets it all done. So when your husband read this, where did he move to? Did he, where did, did he have his own place or what did he do? <laughs> so he understood that I wasn't complaining about my life, my job or my husband. It was what are the expectations for the working mom today? He is an amazing partner. He probably does more than half of the kid work. Was this like a stream? What time? Did, I, I forget. I read it. What time? <laughs> it was did you, 10 p.m. Um, it was like a stream of consciousness thing, like you're typing as fast as you're thinking or what was it? It just exploded out of yes, your body? Yes. And I'm kind of, again, an introvert. I'm kind of sarcastic and humorous. And it was sort of a funny take on all of these things we are expected to do that you, you can't possibly get all those things done. So do you, have you spent the time saying, is this societal pressure? is part of its self-imposed. I mean, who's the, where does the blame fall, for it's, lack of a better it's word? It's definitely here? both. Um, I think society has different expectations for the working mother. Than, and someone made an interesting comment on my post. Have you ever heard the term working father? Mm -hmm. No, it's just the dad. So you're expected, once woman left the house, to keep up all this other stuff um, while you know, maintaining your job as well. And, and by the way, when we do even one half of what you do, and I mean the generic you, mm -hmm. we get praise. For exactly. having done it, as I'm sure you People know. come up and give my husband praise for taking, you know, between one and three kids to Target. Um, and <laughs> he deserves praise, but I don't get that praise. We should both get that praise. <laughs> so is this one and done, or is this the beginning? I assume people are saying, keep going here, Sarah. Don't you know, just do one. People are saying that. And, again, the introvert in me is like, this is 
this is different for me, but I have this sudden platform where people are listening to my voice, and I think you know I owe it to people to keep this conversation so going. So what I mean, it, it, what is the solution? Is it governmental? We're, we are about as unkind to working mothers in the United States as virtually any Western civilization. Mm -hmm. Is it a cultural change? Is it employers? Does it take a village? I mean, can you preview the next post? What's, where I is think the it's, solution? I think it's all of those things. I mean, ideally, yes, we would have better parental leave for both parents. It would be more feasible for either parent to take a certain amount of time off um, or have you know, a part-time amount of work at some point, at least until the kids are in school and childcare isn't so expensive. Um, some sort of universal childcare, mm. other countries have that, um, and it allows both parents to work if they want to. Um, and then just societal expectations as well. Do you want a little advice? I know you're dying to comfort. Why it. not? <laughs> How old was the kid who was with the spaghetti? Three. Okay, when next time you're serving the kids spaghetti, hand the three-year-old a can of Chef Boyardee and a can <laughs> opener and say, you're on your own. Is that? Yes. That'll work, don't it, you think? Totally. He will love that. He'll Sarah, eat it. it's a pleasure. You did a great thing. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so, so much. much.